Hi everyone, this is Autopost Free. Let's continue our game on Final Fantasy XIV Online Stormblood. Except I probably will never see the Stormblood <laughs> content for a long time. Oh my goodness, my world is full. Hmm. Really? Huh, I guess I should move to a different world then. Kind of a funny thing to say. It wasn't full when I started. It was only like like two weeks ago. Ah, you're back. None worse for the exertion. Use figure a, a truly blessed thing. You've gotten off to a fine start, son. To help you on your way, I want you to have this hunting log. Within it, you'll find the names of various creatures, opponents that you might hone your skills against. If you want to become strong, you mustn't neglect your training. Indeed, a creature list is only as good as the number of strikes he's dealt. Get out there, Meow Rai, and let your fists fly. When the time is ripe, I'll teach you something new. There's no limit to the potential of youth. I look forward to seeing you come into on your own. Ha ha ha! I should use this special girl on the show. Let's see, how is it? It's a record of your completion of tasks involving the slaying of certain creatures. By completing these tasks, you will earn rewards and unlock new challenges. The log can be accessed via logs found in the main menu. Once the log is open, select a class and difficulty view the available challenges that, uh, for that rank. Each challenge is marked with a class name and number, such as Lancer Olun. Below that name and number, you will find the target, as well as how many targets you must defeat. Hovering over the target name will display one of the areas in which the target can be located. Targets indicated in your hunting log, in your hunting log will, have special, will have a special icon above their display name, making it easier to locate the creatures. Five, so, um, yeah, what else you got for me? Let's see, Guildmaster ha Hammond pushes you to learn the basics of combinations. You've been training hard, Meow Marai. Ah, I can tell by the lightness of your steps and the strength of your fists. I reckon you're ready for your next lesson. Before we begin, some worm in order. For this, I've scattered some gill across Hulda. No, Hulda. If you want to run, run around the city, I want you to run around the city and pick it all up. Now, that's my money lying out there, so I want you to go out there. So I want you to go about it like there's a, a Maljaw warband on your heels. In other words, I want you to sprint. Of course, you can't go sprinting indefinitely. Your body needs to rest a while after each burst of speed. This may sound elementary, but I'm telling you this to demonstrate a point. As a pugilist, it's essential that you learn to pace yourself in a fight, else you're liable to get worn out. And when that happens, the fight's as good as Gover, and you'll be sorry you had, you had bet on yourself.
Thanks. You certainly look the part of an adventurer, my friend. Might you be the good soul nobody advised me to expect? Hmm? I am Papa Sean, station master of this humble dispatch yard. An empty title, I assure you. I am. I truly am no more than a tired old nothing. Lalafell, passing his final years in quiet solitude. Twelve know there have been plenty of these last five years since the calamity struck. The devastation was vast. Yet now true old ends work together, doing all in their power to rebuild what was laid to ruin. By the sweat of our brows and the love of our home, we have rebuilt Ulda to the grandeur and majesty that you see today. The railways which run through this dispatch yard too were born of noble efforts of a great many souls. But there is still much work to be done. The wounds left by the calamity run deep. Isolated areas beyond our lines of supply remain, and there are places yet wanting for relief and restoration. Hold on needs the aid of you and your brethren, friend. In fact, never has our need been more dire. Which brings me to the point, I suppose. I do believe I may have some work suited to your to one of your abilities. Station Mr. Sound has a simple task for fledging adventure. Since you've come all this way, perhaps you can form an errand for me. It just so happens a number of sentries have been sent out to guard the area. A dispatch to the a dispatch to the dispatch yard, as it were. There have long they have long been away from the shade and feather beds of the city. The hot days and cold nights can play hells on the mind and body out there. It isn't much, but go give them these twilight pretzels, would you? I find comfort food always helps when I feel when I feel like killing myself. Creatures here. Oh, I need, I need ladybugs, marmots. Let's see, lightning gauge. The lightning gauge indicates a monk's current amount of greased lightning as well as the time remaining before the effect fades. Greased lightning is accumulated by ex executing certain weapon skills and improving attack speed and damage dealt. As a monk or pugilist increased increases in level, the amount of grease lighting that can be stored at one time will increase to a maximum of three units. Okay. Western front clear! Eastern front clear! There's your pretzel. For me? From Papa Sean? A twilight pretzel? My favorite! How did he know? Can't fight on an empty stomach now, can I? Actually, I, I can't fight on any stomach. I suppose you could say I have no stomach for fighting.
12, save me. Scorching days, freezing nights. This post will be the end of me. A twilight pretzel? Don't mind if I do. Ah, now that's a refreshing goddamn pretzel. I feel reborn. Sir, I'm going to ask you to put the, the pretzel on the ground and place your hands above your head. Say your name and business. Toilet pretzel from Papashan? Why the gods forgive me? You say this new post has has my nerves in a twist. I, I'm terribly sorry for that. <sighs> yes, well, you may rest assured that the dispatch yard is safe so long as I stand watch. Please give Papashan my thanks and tell him that I only wish I could repay the favor. Yamurai, I have, I have just this moment. No, no, the time for concealment is past. The truth is, even before I had you deliver those pretzels, I was privy to some unsettling news, which is the real reason I sent, I sent you to meet those sultans one. A young noble woman from a very prestigious family has run away from home, and I have an order to see her safe return. The sultans one you met earlier are assisting with the search. At last, it seems they have found no trace of her. I apologize for not being frank with you from the start, but we must proceed with caution. Should a word of her disappearance spread, I fear others with less honorable motives may join the hunt. And should we allow her to come to any harm, not even a hundred beheadings would be punishment enough. That cannot happen, Myamurai. It must not. I need you, I need you to help me find her. Praise the Twelve. I knew I could count on you. I've instructed the others to expand the search, but Thenlan is vast and there are only so many of us. The young nobleman's name is Lady Liliria. Uh, Liliria? 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 Yeah, whatever. I want you to go south and look for her in the vicinity of the Sultan Tree. Good luck. But before we do that, let's do all this other stuff.
back already, are you? Come, let's see what you've brought. Exceptional. These are fine true cults indeed. Well done, my friend. The Pugiler skill is among my largest clients. I fear what would have come to pass had this order been delayed any longer. Take this, hmm? You've more than earned it. Blood. Have you brought it? Yes, yes, this shall serve nicely. By virtue of your toil, I am one step closer to publishing the many breaths of Thanlin. Thank you. Take this as recom recompense. Now go, now go now, and may the traitor smile upon you. stuff though.
ticked off. Yume of Scorpion Crossing is worried about the condition of her chocobo. You there. Yes, you. You're an adventurer, are you not? You travel about Eorzea, slaying beasts and finding treasure? That sort of thing? I have need of help. I must travel to Horizon where my cargo waits, but my chocobo slugger won't move an, won't move an ilm. I tried to have a closer look, but I saw a vile pair of antenna protruding from his feathers and lost my nerve. I love Slugger with all my heart, but bugs, bugs I cannot do. I fear he may have a parasite litter bug that scorched himself on his blood. Check it for me, would you? The nine litter bugs dug in there somewhere. Kill the damn thing. Interest wealthy adventurers. Have you heard the news about Goblet? All the all that quality land so desperately coveted, but to be auctioned off to bidders, regardless of their origins. Even adventurers have the right to participate. Just imagine the entire end area could be, end up being owned by wealthy foreign Ah, beg your pardon, sir. It isn't like that isn't that I dislike adventurers far from it. But when you consider the Ulda is still struggling to accommodate countless refugees, the idea that this land is being sold for profit is not surprising whatsoever, come to think of it. Still, the least they could do is give preferential treatment to hardworking Uldans like me. I've been saving for years, just waiting for an opportunity like this to come along. Say, you wouldn't happen to be curious as well, would you? About the goblet? My hands are full here, but if you have a moment to head that way and look into the auctioning business on my, ha on my behalf, I'd be ever so grateful. There's bound to be an immortal flames representative by the gate, or in the goblet, who can explain what's going on. This wouldn't happen without General Rubal's approval. Of that much, I'm sure. Let's see, how's all needs to help locating this place shipment? You've time to spare, don't you? Make yourself useful and help me find my missing crates. The manifest clearly states that there are three crates bound for East uh, Aldenard Trading Company where uh, were included in the latest shipment from Vesper Bay, but I can't seem to find the bloody things. They ought to be around here somewhere, but I can't waste any more time looking. If you find some if you find the crates, bring them to me. Trader Guntram is furiously ransacking his cargo at Scorpion Crossing, looking for all the world like a man who has misplaced something. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. There's no time to send for more, and no... You there. Please, you must help me. Go kill as many cactars as you must to gather four bottles of their blood. I don't care if you have to hunt the little green bastards to extinction. Please, there's no time to explain. Just know that my very life hangs in the balance. For the love of gods, hurry, man. For very, from very far away, you could have just turned around and found it. Find my crates? Great job, friend. These will make the next wagon. These will make the next wagon, thanks to you. The ship has never stopped coming, day in and day out. Just keeping track of everything is enough to give me migraines. Business is good, true, but what use is money if you haven't the time to spend it? I haven't downed a pint with friends in weeks. Also, I was holding a letter addressed to someone at the Silver Bazaar. Boxes, crates, barrels, lifting, moving, stacking. There's no end to it. I'm tired. So very tired. Say, friend, do a hardworking stranger a, a kindness, would you? See this letter saved to Kikipu at the Silver Bazaar. I'd call on her myself, but I haven't the time, and I doubt these weary legs would carry me there even if I did. 
I'd like to send her something nice along with it. Could I trouble you to scrounge up, say, five hammer beak fe tail feathers? Gods know you can find the beast around here easy enough. Kikapu's a dear old friend. She called the Silver Czar home for, well, far too long. There's been ill rumors of the place of late. I'd like to make sure she's well, is all. Choosers.
Roger says thank you, and you've my thanks, you've, and you've my thanks as well. I, sh I was sure as sunup, it was a parasite ladybug. Must have latched itself on somewhere along the road. But how the bloody thing managed to stay concealed at that size is a complete mystery. In fact, I'm not even going to question it. I'd just like to move on and put this all behind me. If we don't keep our truck boats healthy, Cargo won't be able to move over land. We owe these birds a great deal of debt. I wish more folk would see it that way. The cactus blood? All four bottles? Show me. Whew, you saved my hide, friend. Just stopped to give my cargo a check on the way to Oldo and saw that, that all my bottles of Razahan skin tonic were empty as a Garlean promise. Looks as though the lid shook off in transit and the whole load spilled right out, but I refuse to have it said that Guntram failed to make good on the delivery. Tactor blood is supposed to help keep the skin supple. I'll just use what you've got to fill the empty bottles, and all those lovely old old ladies will be none the wiser. Oh, don't worry about getting found out. Rouse that Han's skin tonic is still a rare find, all the more so in this far south. I'd venture none of Alda would even know it from an ampule of their own piss. Seventeen, definitely not. Earned a roll action. Roll actions are spells and weapon skills that are that are assigned to all the classes within a roll. Tank, melee, DPS, range, DPS, healer, rather than a specific class. Roll actions are learned in the same manner as class actions via leveling, but only need to be learned once to be able to use them with all participating classes within a roll. A roll has been added to your action list found on the character in the main menu. Selecting it will display the roll actions you have learned. The number of roll actions that can be assigned to your current class from 1 to a maximum of 10 is determined by the level of that class. To assign a role action to a class, simply check the box next to the action's name. The box can be, cannot be unchecked if that action is currently on cooldown. Selecting a role action will open the hotbar palette, allowing you to assign it to one of your hotbars. Well, now all of a sudden we're playing the level 9 stuff.
Stefano has the look of a Lollafell dying to be asked if he has any work to offer. Hey there, friend. I'm sh I've sure I have a sure way to into some easy kill if you're interested. It won't even require you to break a sweat. Well, not much of one. All you need to do is slay enough rusty cobblins to gather four bottles of cobblin grease and then deliver them to her by the name of Adelard at the hammers. Once he has the grease, he can use it to keep the hammers running. It couldn't be more simple. I'm surrounded by fools here. They detest the hammers and the new way of life they symbolize. They only care for the success of, success of the past, but it binds them to the opportunities of the present. Change isn't coming, friend. It's already here. I call the Silver Bazaar home for now, uh, but I've no lingering affection for the place. I go wherever there is guilt to be gotten. Well, what is it then? Come to try and scare me and these poor folk off our land again? Go on, do your worst. I'll not budge one step from the spot. Hammerbeak, tail feathers, and a letter? Dear gods, it's from Oswell. Have you seen him? Is he well? Dearest Kikipu, it has, it has been too long since I wrote you last. How have you fared since? How have you fared since? As ever, I'm a slave to my trade, and sadly, it hasn't seen fit to take me, to take me to, or through the Silver Bazaar in some time, or in some years. I've heard it told that the scum of Ulda have set their sights on your Silver Bazaar. It seems beyond saving. Really, how long do you mean to linger in that horrid hovel? Remember, some birds just aren't meant to be caged. Spread your wings and soar once more, Kikipu. Spread my wings and soar? By the gods, this this is by far the most ridiculous letter, letter I've ever read. And Hammerbeak tell feathers? The dolt does realize he's sent the feathers of a flightless bird, doesn't he? Well, Oswald's can go, Oswald can go bugger himself. I have no intention of stepping one ilm from this hovel, much less soaring from it. It's my hovel, and I love it. Uh, Kickapoo of the Silver Czar is having a hard time handling a couple of troublesome laborers. You've a warm face for an outsider, not like those other curs lording about the bazaar. Surely you've seen the hammers to the east of here, or at the very least heard them. Well, a few of their workers have decided to drop in on us for a little rest and relaxation. But they're no workers. They've done nothing but they're nothing but hired muscle sent to threaten the people of Bazaar and harass our shops. It's not the first time. But I dare say a formidable lad such as yourself just might be able to scare them off with some strongly worded doubts. What say you? Silver, you silver bizarre folk are annoying as hells. I'll give you that. Bugger this job. I'm off to find some peace and quiet. Your ears working? I said piss off. Enough already. I'm leaving. But tell that bloody kickapoo that this is the end of nothing, you hear? Nothing! Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Fine, I'm on my way, but tell that kickapoo this ain't over. Ba 
Ah, I was just about to leave anyway, so don't go thinking you had any part in it. Are they gone then? All of them? Well, that's a relief. Serves them right for trying to scare honest folk from their homes so their own masters can buy them. The hammers were built to, to pound the ground here into solid foundation. The pain is to turn these tracks into manors and, man and manses for the Thon wealthy. The same fate awaits the Silver Bazaar. Since the value of the land is set to, sm to rise, small wonder some opportunists are trying to drive us all off so he can have it all to himself. The Silver Bazaar may not be what it used to be. Hey, more people leave now than come and die. More shops close than open. But it's my home. I don't mean to be chased off by some bloody jillionaire craven Craven, who sends common thugs to do his dirty work. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy cleaning the sand clogs from these hammers? Gods, I'd kill for a few bottles of cobbler grease right now. Cobbler grease? 
fa 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 no no what's this uh fa 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 no no fa 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 no must have sent you thank the gods for both of you before long these tracks will be covered with the estates of old on elite the grounds are still too loose to build upon the hammers are pounding to make solid foundation once that's done then you'll see structures start to rise the building was planned to stretch even farther to the heart of the silver bazaar even but it seems the powers are going to be met with some local resistance I hear some last name Kikipu holds the rights to the bulk of the land there. Stubborn to a fault, that one. A bloody thorn in the side.
the Sultan Tree. You're about to enter an instance battle. Instance battles only occur during certain quests and missions. Take a moment to read information displayed in the active help window before answering the call of duty. Uh, special instance, you are about to enter a special instance. These areas are reserved for important battles which feature unique environment conditions or powerful boss enemies. Instances objectives can be confirmed in the duty list. For the duration of the battle, you will be unable to pass beyond the red line displayed in the field. You will automatically leave the instance once all quest objectives have been met. I'm all the way. Proceed! Tree, hallowed spirit of my line, forgive my weakness. My failings have cost us dear. Oh, no, don't do that. Show yourself. <sighs> As you command, O Lilira. Forgive my selfish desire to assure your welfare. I don't recall requesting an escort. Simply pretend we never met and continue on your way. We both know I can do no such thing. It isn't safe for you here alone. It isn't safe for anyone. Not with this etheric disturbance. It's as though the dead are watching us. And I'd prefer not to join them. If it's all the same to you. Ah, you must be the one that Papa Sean mentioned. Congratulations on finding our elusive young charge. You'll have to forgive her impetuousness. What she lacks in discipline, she makes up for in stubbornness. You should return with us. The station master will be eager to thank Lady Lilira's protector in person. Alas, the station master will have to wait. Dear Lilira, for my sake, please stay out of harm's way. As for you, dear friend, for Lilira's sake, please stay in harm's way.
Whew. I feel like I didn't contribute a whole lot to that battle. Crystal Bearer. I am Hydaelyn, all made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. Ah, coming around now. Would you mind telling me what that was? Hmm, if I only knew. A denizen of the Void, at any rate. The Void sent? Yeah, but how? The question isn't how, but who. We're not dealing with bookless bandits. Don't suppose the answer came to you in a dream?
No sooner did you fell the beast than you fell asleep. Too much ether, no doubt. Interesting. I hadn't considered the crystal. But of course, this changes everything. Hmm? Oh, just thinking aloud. At any rate, we haven't a moment to spare. I must return and report this at once. I leave Lady Lilira in your capable hands. How dare you pass me about like a swaddled babe? I shall return and tell them myself. As you wish, your impetuousness. I suspect we shall meet again before long. Until then, do try and stay awake. What do you mean, napping's great? Don't knock it till you try it. Level sync is a system which allows players to, to participate in lower level duties by temporarily adjusting their levels and is available for most fates and instant raids. When your level is synced, not only your personal attributes, but the attributes of your gear will automatically be lowered to meet the requirements set by the duty in which you are participating. Once the duty ends, everything is restored to its original state. Experience earned while level sync is based off of sync level, not your current level. However, it will be added to the progress of the letter. That's good. So, you know, you play with your friends who have no life and have already maxed out the characters. I thought I had any friends like that. Nah. levels fairly quickly though, at least in the beginning part of the game. That's how they hook you though. And later on it may take, you know, months and months to raise one level. But then you've already committed, you know, two or three hundred hours. So. <laughs> Hopefully that don't happen in this game. I'm playing it for single player content. Which is party. Gods, you've returned. You had us all so worried. You do realize what would happen if a person of your noble stature were to be injured, or worse. Why, her grace the Sultana would be beside herself with grief, and so would her subjects. I dare say they'd be weeping in the streets. But I have already given you cause to weep, Papashan, you and the people of Ulda. Please, you're not to say such things. We will find it, I swear to you. It's not my place to make demands, my lady, but I beg you, please stay out of harm's way. I apologize for causing your, you undue worry, Papa Sean. I shall refrain from traveling unescorted in the future. I cannot thank you enough, Meow Marai. I understand you fought bravely pr to protect Lady Liliger from void sent fiends. For your gallant service, you deserve all the riches in the royal vaults. Alas, a small token of my gratitude is the best I can offer. Hmm. A sarcastic man with a strange contraption strapped to his shoulder? I see you met Thancred. He is a scholar who spends his days investigating oddities in the Aether. Rather too fond of the sound of his own voice for my liking, but perfectly harmless. As for you, Marmurai, just you're just the sort of adventure we need around here. I pray you show the same kindness to the people of Thanalan as you did to us today. Okay, I'll go to the 
Let's go back. Right back. Push ourselves back to sanctuary. Why don't you put your camp right outside of the city? Huh? Anyway, this is Otter Posture. You're watching Final Fantasy XIV Online Stormblood. Ah, it's cool so far. Even as a single player game, uh, I like it. I think I'll spend uh, quite a bit of time playing it. Certainly liking it better than my time before with Final Fantasy. I don't know. I gotta get back to that game too, but uh, all that grinding I have to do. I mean, I have to do grinding in this game, but uh, not yet. So I haven't been pissed off with this game yet. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.